yard haunt update. We've added some fog. Looks pretty sweet. I got this new fog machine the other day in the mail. And as you can see, I have it on the LED function. I could uh, swap it out, show you exactly where it is. Because I really, really, really liked the strobe function. But I have the fog machine sitting right back behind the grave digger tonight. Um, it's going to rain, so I'm going to pull it back in. But for tonight's update, uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting some fog. So I got the fog machine out that has the LED lights. That's why you see it shining on Miserable Marie in the tombstones there. So for tonight, in this whole update, we're going to have some fog. Uh, we also have some fog scent in there for my newest project. Um, it stinks. It's not like super bad, but it smells weird and not like I thought it was going to smell. Uh, but this is going to be the fog machine for that area, except it will not be blue. The lights will be green. But it's a pretty chill night. It's pretty chilly. Uh, so the fog is just kind of lingering. There's like almost no wind, as you can tell by how the fog is sitting. This fog smells more like old man cologne than I thought it was going to smell like. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Yeah, I just got a big old whiff of it. It smells like old man cologne. I don't know, it's weird. But I also got uh, mildew spray and I sprayed it on all these pillars for the fence, all the, all the corners. So everywhere where everyone's gonna walk by and uh, as it gets rained on, obviously it's gonna go away. But uh, for the time being, in the next few days, at least at least three days, unless it rains hard and washes it off, you're gonna smell it every time you walk by. Uh, I sprayed a few sections. I didn't spray any of my props because that stuff will stay on them. Um, but there is definitely a pretty strong odor right now of mildew and it smells awful. <laughs> but it's cool so we have that and then we have uh yeah this weird smell but the two of them combined does smell terrible so um it's gonna smell pretty good on trick-or-treat for the what i want to do with my newest build so while the fog machine warms back up we're gonna go over some of our newest things for today so obviously as you can tell Today, I put on those brand new white lights, like I said. I picked those up. God, that mildew smell is like really punching me in the face right now. Oof. So, God. I, spray, I sprayed that pillar right there, and it's very, very strong. I think I, think I sprayed the whole pillar. That whole pillar over there is soaked, and it is very pungent. Uh, but we got the new LED light on him, and he looks good with a white light. I think all these look really good with a white light on them. Really makes these front guys stand out, and the uh, back ones kind of sink in. I really like the blue light, though, on Miserable Marie back there. So I have a spare light. So a light might end up on her. I do like how that is lit up. 
I did change a couple things here. Can't really see it because yeah, this light is pointless. So I'm gonna move that. Uh, but there is a light right behind this guy lighting up the tombstones back there. But I guess if I covered it, it lights those up as you can see. But if I uncover it, it whitewashes it out. See, that's how. It, that's why you gotta be careful and you're always checking things because I didn't pay attention. This light is right in front, shining on that guy. So the light behind him is completely whitewashed. So. That's why you check things. So I'm gonna move that light over there. So it shines on Miserable Marie. But I gotta go get a uh, extension cord adapter. And then we'll move that. That's a great idea. Fog machine's ready. This fog machine that I got from this company is actually pretty good. Uh, I thought it was going to be a real big pile of crap. Usually when people send you stuff for free, it's uh, usually not any good. But this is actually pretty dang good. I mean, completely just smoked out the skelly right there. You guys have been wanting to see fog, so... Uh, unfortunately, it's not low-lying fog. I could hook up my um, chiller, but I'd have to really rig that up. So maybe tomorrow night I will do that. Oh, my wife's going to be so mad. Oh. But it looks cool. It just went right in all the windows. Oh, she's going to be so mad. <laughs> oh, and it stinks. Luckily, the wind's blowing this way. I still got to get Twisted Tina up on the roof. And uh, a few more other things I got to get done here. But the other thing I added tonight is the new white light on this guy. As you can see, it's not whitewashing the tombstones and the blue lights out. So that's good. As we back up here, you can see it's now dark behind him. So that I do like. But I definitely need to move that other blue light over there. We'll put it in that back corner where it's really dark. So we'll get that all lit up. We have our head in this horseman. Marie, girl, you look good in some fog. Oh, yeah. We have our skeleton creeper up here on the top of the archway. I need to put new 9-volt batteries. Uh, that's on my list of things to do. I'm also probably might as well wait until these lights die, and then I'll just replace everything. Because uh, he's probably got another day, maybe another two days. And then they'll be out. And I just realized half of my lights are out. Look at that. God dang it. These are brand new too. Oh man. This is driving me nuts. I'm having like the worst luck with lights this year. Well that really makes me mad. I'm pretty sure they worked last night. And... I, didn't, I must not have paid attention, but I noticed it as I was looking at the creeper. I was like, oh, that light's out. And then I noticed this half of the strand is out. Obviously, it's a fuse. I'm going to have to see what the heck. Because I literally bought these brand new last year. A couple other things we added today. We added some Spanish moss on the fence. Added some right there. Right where it stinks really bad. Yeah, right there's a big clump of it. That looks really cool.
So we still have the skeleton horse out here. There's groundbreaker zombies. 12 foot skeleton. We have Sam. Freddy, Michael, Jason. We got the boogeyman out here. We have our grimacing pumpkin. We got some tombstones as usual. We have our scream and our leather face. And then we have our tombstones right here. Just a normal bunch of tombstones that we always have here. I'll get you a farther away view of this side so you guys can see what this actually looks like from the side. Definitely looks cool. Uh, it's a harsh angle because the lights are shining directly uh, over here. I guess if I try to get out of the way of the light, I still get some beams. But definitely looks really cool. I like how the guy looks like he's reaching. I wish I would have angled this guy about right here to where he would be where the hole is in the fence. Uh, to where you could really see him. But he's like right between two of them. So I guess that's not bad. Uh, I could have moved him a little closer and then put one hand in each hole. Uh, then it could have made it look like, you know, he broke the fence or something. Because it's kind of, kind of like that. But we need to get some pumpkins out here. I need to get my butt moving. It is the end of September. And I feel like I'm so far behind. And I don't have a lot done. But really, I mean, usually I don't have this much out this, this early. I mean, it's still early, really. Uh, spooky season's just now starting. Haunted House has just opened this weekend and stuff like that. So I guess I'm not behind, but I just feel like I am. I feel like I've neglected this uh, cemetery for a few days, which I have. Uh, I need to add a few more things, and I'd like to get more pumpkins out here, kind of scattered around. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to overkill on the pumpkins, but I definitely want to get some out here and uh, add some into the, the graveyard scene. I just like pumpkins and I think it look cool. I need to get out my skeleton sacrifice. Uh, that's gonna go, I'm not real sure. It needs to go somewhere front and center. I'm thinking back here where that big tombstone is because there's that big opening. I'm thinking about putting it right there so that it's front and center and then I can put, you know, an orange light on him. And that would be, that'd be pretty good. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that way it's still front and center. I know Keith from Cobwebs and Candlesticks is on my butt about putting that skeleton sacrifice, that scarecrow, up front and let it be seen. So I don't want to hide it off to the side. Um, but where I had it, I have something totally different. Um, and it's huge, so I can't put it there. So it might go here, might move that tombstone into the graveyard some more, and then put it behind that headless horseman or beside that headless horseman, pretty much right where that big tombstone is. I'll just move that tombstone up more. Uh, that way it's not blocking it, or I can put the tombstone up against the fence and then move some of those little ones. Um, but those little ones on the side are hiding lights. But over here tonight, we just have our headless horseman. Our swamp fisherman has a brand new home. And I can't show you that quite yet. Um, I've moved the light. I've moved the light. That's serving purpose similar to something else, but it's elsewhere. Um, but we still have him. He's still on. Uh, now I need to think of what to do with him and what to put him with. So I was really hoping to show you that real big project I've been working on. I was hoping to show you guys that today, but 
I'm waiting on an order from Teamu, and it was like $70 worth of stuff for this project that I kind of found some stuff similar to it at Dollar Tree. And I didn't quite want to reveal that until I got all that stuff in and was able to hang it up and put it all around the yard and do everything with that stuff uh, that I have. As you can hear the swamp fisherman going off over here. I just set him off walking by. But uh, I kind of want to wait on that. It says the 21st and today is the 18th. So we got what you got a few days yet. Um, I was hoping to show you guys that today. But I really, really want to wait it out. And I don't want to spoil it. I would rather get everything decorated and make it look super cool i think revealing it prematurely is a dumb idea on my part where i can show you guys uh the full thing at like full strength i would rather show you the full build and what i've put so much time and effort into um because i really think you guys are truly gonna like it and it's unlike anything i have ever built before um i know i've talked about possibly doing something like this uh, for a few years now so the fact that i was able to actually do it this year um i've been pretty excited about it and it's really looking good it's a real traffic stopper uh, i've had multiple people stopping by wondering what's going on what it does you know and it's uh it's been really cool so I'm very excited to show you guys this new build. Like I said, I think you guys are really going to like it. I really got to change a lot of things up once uh, once it's all done and ready. I'm going to have to change up a bunch of lights and reroute a bunch of things. But uh, in the end, I think it's definitely going to be worth it and worth sticking around for this big update. So I'm hoping this week I can get it all done i'm literally just waiting on this order from team U, and uh i'll be able to get that buttoned up and add the last bits of everything i need and i think it's gonna look i think it's gonna look great i think you guys are absolutely gonna love it definitely worth the hype and it's definitely worth the hype it's really really cool i'm really excited and uh really proud of this build definitely looks really cool the swamp fisherman looks really cool um, uh, I think it's all coming together. It looks really awesome. So stay tuned. And I appreciate all you guys for hanging with me. And uh, sticking around for this Halloween season. This is definitely going to be a really, really big one. And I can't wait to finish this one out extremely strong with you guys. So we got the fog machine unhooked. And we got that blue light behind that tombstone. And I think that gives it the added touch we needed in this back corner. Lights up that back tombstone. Lights up Miserable Marie. It's not getting whitewashed by the white light on the Headless Horseman. I think it looks awesome, guys. They swing open the gates of hell. 